Greetings folks, Cross Train here coming to you again from World of Tanks today and uh, I have another replay in my E50. Uh, this is a replay from a game I had yesterday. Uh, in fact, my first game of the day and then other than Clan Wars campaign work last night, this is my last game of the day. It's one of those kinds of days where I had a tough day the day before and so uh, today I decided that uh, that one game was going to be enough because uh, it turned out pretty decent. So uh, we'll see. But anyways, I'm in my E50 Tier 9 uh, German uh, medium tank, which uh, is my last video I talked about. I just absolutely love this tank. It's got uh, sort of properly used uh, some armor that is extremely bouncy. And, uh, and in some ways kind of acts like a heavy in terms of its bounceability and things like that. So... In this matchup here, I'm top tier, uh, tier 9. Uh, we do have a slight advantage in the heavy department um, and the medium department. Uh, we both have lights. Uh, they are infinitely, well, not infinitely, but they get double the number of TDs we have, which made me believe that they were going to be a little bit um, uh, campy with probably at least one or maybe two of those big TDs back in the A0, B0 corner. So I'm uh, starting the game just sitting right here waiting for somebody to come around this corner that I'm pointing at right now. Figured I might catch somebody in the side if they uh, if they did come around the corner, but uh, nothing was coming. It looked like we had enough uh, heavies that were going to the 1-2 line, um, and uh, I was hopeful certainly that their heavies uh, would do the same, which in fact they did do. So now that uh, the other team is clearly not being too terribly aggressive, I'm going to go take this position on the hill where you can get shots on the back side of the hill where our IS-3 is rolling around, where their LTDB is, uh, as well as down in the, uh, the zero, uh, AB0 row. As, in fact, right on cue, the Waffle Tier 9 uh, German TD pops up. I'm able to see the top of his turret and uh, hit him pretty good. I am going to get spotted here, back off, and whoo, as a shell whizzes by my head. Uh, which is good. I am mindful this whole time that there is, in fact, Artie out there. So it looks like I'm going to get another shot before he disappears. So that was very nice. Uh, as you can see, I am loading HE in anticipation of getting another shot on him. Um, so I have, uh, I have loaded up HE for this shot. And I'm just waiting. Uh, I'm a little bit uh, surprised at this point. I assume they're already, since it hasn't rained at all yet, it's probably focusing over in the 1 and 2 line, which oftentimes happens with Artie. Um, particularly if they have uh, all of the heavies out there. Then, So without that waffle lighting again, I decide to uh, roll back a little bit towards the middle. My idea here is to just kind of scope through a little bit, try to get up at a different angle on that waffle who's behind the ridge. As you can see, he's fallen back uh, one whole grid on this map, uh, back into the A uh, row as opposed to the B zero uh, cell. So I'm going to kind of zip out in front of these guys, go in here, try to get a shot. And his 1390 is going in to light him up, so that is beautiful. Uh, in fact, he's going to put a shot into him. And then a nice 402 shot um, with HC, which isn't certainly a high roll, but it's all the... All that he had left. Now, <laughs> I pull in right out then, and I can almost promise you that uh, T95 was not aiming at me. I just ate the shot for uh, for my buddy that was right next to me, the uh, Type 59. So, but that's okay. Already, our team is uh, has got a pretty massive advantage at five and zero. Uh, so, what I decide to see with the Type 59 is going. I decide I'm going to do the same thing, kind of roll into town, see if I can get a flank on this T32, and then do the same with these uh, TDs that are down there. Both the Object 704 and the T95 are down there, so I'm making sure I get back around behind these ridges before I move forward into the city, but it is my hope to try to get some, some flanking maneuvers and hope that those guys over here on... Uh, on this ridge uh, aren't looking at me. So I'm trying to keep a little bit at least uh, buildings between me and that ridge. Here the T32 lights up. T95 is right in front of me. 
I'm going to take a couple unsuccessful shots. I do have um, a APCR reloaded, uh, but I still bounced off of the commander's hatch. The T95 is aiming towards me, so I'm going to take one more shot and then skidoo. He does have the small gun. When he hit me, he only hit me for 450, which tells me that he does, in fact, have the small gun on it. His T32 is engaged at Type 59, so I decide to roll around, take a shot on the run, set him on fire, and down he goes. So again, in the interest of not getting shot on the side from the hill, I'm trying to get the heck out of here, but I do hesitate for just a minute, try to get a tracking shot on that T95, which I wasn't able to do. Um, but I am going to do it here as he starts to turn towards me. Uh, that may have been a tracking shot from uh, from one of my compatriots. Now this T... <laughs> this, I'm going to take a 704 shot on the side. Uh, silly, I was... I was focused a little bit too much on keeping that T95 tracked. I'm going to do it one more time. Now this 704 is chasing this Type 59, trying to get him. Uh, I'm going to roll in here. I'm going to leave the T-34 to him. I'm going to roll to help with this 704. And there's a 690 hit point ammo rack. So that was satisfying. T-95 goes down before, um, before I can get another shot in him. So we are sitting here. Um, we're up 11 to 6, looking pretty darn good at this point. Uh, I decided to let some of my uh, my uh, colleagues go uh, before me. See that uh, 49, I'm able to get a shot just over the peak of that roof there. Uh, he backs down off the back side of the hill. I know they got a 28 prototype up there. Still already hasn't been lit for not too much longer. It'll be lit here very, very soon momentarily. But the T28 Proto is up there, the T49 is up there. Uh, they do have still a heavy on the back side of the hill, plus their Artie, uh, which just lit there. So um, I'm deciding I'm going to move in on these, uh, on the 49 and the Proto. I've already put out 3,400 damage, which is. Um, Trying to save this Type 59, uh, took a shot on the run at the 49, didn't get him. Um, he's going to put a, between he and the 28 prototype, they uh, take a kill shot on that Type 59, but I do get the finishing shot on, on him. Somehow I bounce this shot, uh, which is kind of crazy because I hit him right in the, the weak spot at the flat point of the turret. But um, I know I'm going to take a hit here, but I know unless he ammo racks me, I can afford one hit, which I take and, again, hit that flat part of his turret um, with an APCR around. He wasn't going to uh, get past that one. So now all that's left is a mop-up. I've already uh, got 3,800 damage, almost 3,900, and uh, IS-3 is kind of cornered down there. So I take the kill shot, finish him off, finish up with 4,185 uh, damage. Um, that scared my top gun right there with that um, IS-3. Uh, this is the kind of matchup that the E-50 just um, thrives in. Uh, top tier, uh, not a whole lot of mediums on the other team. Uh, all they had is a pad and they had a couple of lights, but... Um, Really, uh, this is just a great matchup for the E50. Um, and again, I've said this in a few of my medium videos recently. I'm just getting back into playing mediums, and, and, and the the game for medium play is significantly different than it is for heavies and TDs, which I've been playing for most of the last two years. So, um, still trying to figure out how to be patient enough to um, to survive for more than a minute and a half and yet aggressive enough to contribute to uh, the outcome, a positive outcome for your team. So uh, this is a, 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 a probably one of my better examples of, uh, of using the terrain, uh, moving around to flank to, uh, 
And when the Type 59 and I went into the city there, uh, you notice what happened is our entire team kind of came uh, because we were overwhelming two TDs, which were turretless, as well as that T-32, which, uh, as I looked at this replay the first time, um, shortly after I played the battle, I, I believe that T-32 kind of just parked there. Because he never turned his turret again, uh, I think he just kind of parked there and said, screw it and gave up so uh so again uh this was a about as good a use of a medium as i've had in in, in some time i was hoping honestly at the end of the battle i said oh my almost 4200 damage six kills maybe the six kills would give me my mastery badge in this one but it was not to be so let's real quickly take a look at the uh, post game stats So we have um, a first class badge, which uh, it was my first uh, first class badge in this thing. So um, had a nice little game, as you can see. Got a high calorie here. Got, of course, got the top gun. Got a bunch of little badges, including the arsonist uh, killing somebody by setting them on fire, as well as an ammo rack uh, demolitionist for uh, ammo racking that uh, object 704. Um, so that was kind of nice to get a couple of uh, badges. You don't get all the time, but... Uh, you can see I laid out a bunch of damage. I actually uh, killed six tanks, and I damaged the T-95 uh, beyond uh, just that. Uh, also uh, laid some damage down on uh, for the team score. Uh, led the team with 4,185 uh, damage, as we said, six kills. 1208 base XP, which is uh, enough to get your master badge in a bunch of tanks, but it, it isn't in the E-50, uh, which is, you know, okay, I'll just keep working at it. I love this tank, so... Uh, I'll just uh, keep working at it, and hopefully I can pick up an ast Master Badge, Ace Badge, one of these days. But, again, we had uh, the advantage of not having a single tank on our team do zero damage. Even this 12T, if you saw him, he was sitting right in front of me when I... Um, he did a nice job rolling in there, lighting up some stuff, and he was sitting right in front of me when I shot over his deck to Amarak, that 704. Um, he, in fact, he's in, he, he plays a cameo part in my cover image for this, which is when I am erect a 704. Uh, in the smoke of my gun flash, you can see him just below my turret. Um, or just below my gun, excuse me. And the other team, they already had a nice game there. One kill, but 4,100 damage. Uh, their 28 prototype had a nice game, uh, racking up some, some damage over there on that 1-2 line. So, uh, here we had 18 shots fired. I hit 14 of them, 10 of them penned. Uh, again, 4185 for damage, 1651 from outside of 3 meters. So I did some sniping uh, with that. I took four shots, three of them penned. One was a non pen, and that's a 400 bounce. Uh, 768 of assisted damage. Most of that was on that T95 when I tracked him one of those times. Because I did fire some um, premiums, you see, even though I made 63,648 credits. Uh, I had a deficit of 2,219 uh, credits for the match because I did fire off, I don't know, 8 to 9 premium rounds as well. Nice XP for a times 2, 36.24. I'll take that every day. And uh, so that was, uh, that was a good game for me. wanted to bring it to you. Uh, although I've, I've been much more steady over the last... 30 days in terms of uh, win rate and, and my win eight in, in uh, games. Uh, I'm staying on a much more even keel instead of having one day at 3,000 and one day at 900. Um, I've been pretty consistently in the 16 to 18, 1900 range for the last uh, 30 days with a decent win rate with it as well. Uh, even with that, so I haven't had a whole lot of really spectacular battles. I felt like I wanted to bring you. So this one. I decided I'd go ahead and bring it since it was a Top Gun um, and uh, did a decent amount of damage. So, again, love the E-50. It's a great tank uh, and uh, really uh, enjoying this grind. It's not much of a grind at all. In fact, one of the easier grinds. Uh, I like this grind better than I like the E-75 grind, quite frankly. Uh, I cut that one short after some frustration two-thirds of the way through it. Um, plus E-100 is on track, so I saved two million credits in buying it while I was on track. So, uh, but this tank... Man, I'm just going to keep grinding because this, uh, this is a lot of fun. So, anyways, this is Cross Train, and until next time, I hope to see you on the battlefield, and peace.